what's up welcome back to heartwork creations thank you for tuning in to another video um, i'm excited for this video because i'm gonna be showing you how i create my newest favorite hairstyle um, this is my version i guess of the um pin up vintage waves using pillow rollers i just discovered them like a month ago and um, I saw someone on Instagram. Her name is like her name is Miriam. I don't know what her exact handle is, but I saw her post a quick little video, and I was like, "What? Like, I need to try that." So um, I bought some on Amazon. I will make sure to put the link down below. And yeah, I bought some. I tried them. I loved them. This is my fourth time trying them, but um, I'm, you know, getting better. So. I'm excited, I'm loving it, and I hope you love the video too. So stay tuned if you want to see me create this hairstyle. <laughs> Alright, so I'm starting off with my hair dry and then just going to put some Suavecita Arjan oil in it just to soften up my ends and give my hair some shine and then just brush it through with my paddle brush to get out any tangles. Next, I like to section off my hair. I do two sections in the front and then one in the back and just clip it so it's out of the way. And to set my curls, I'm going to be using the lot of body setting lotion mixed with water. I use about a quarter of the setting lotion and then the rest water in my spray bottle. I take an about an inch piece of hair um, and then just wet each section and run your brush through it. I do that with each section to make sure that my hair is nice and smooth and it makes it much easier to wind up my hair. And now with my pillow roller, I start with it underneath my section of hair and then start rolling from the bottom up. This is a tricky part for me because my hair is layered so it's hard to get my ends to stay. So I just slightly tug and then start to roll upwards and then get it stuck underneath the hair somehow. This time around I didn't focus too much on this part because last time I like shoved it under and it got all like crimped up and just like frizzy when I took them out so this time I just let it chill out of the roller and it was fine so yeah you don't have to focus too much on that and then you just bend in the wires tightly so that your curl doesn't unravel. Um, and then just keep doing this all throughout the hair. So you just want to keep dampening up your strand, running the brush through it, and then slightly tugging while you roll to keep your hair nice and tight on the roller. If there's too much slack when you roll up your hair, then the curl won't be as tight. Um, since my hair is long, I have to make sure to really like pull and keep the hair nice and tight onto the roller. I, I just went in the same direction, which is um, I roll under and towards my head. I did see a method of rolling at the root, so next time I'll try that and see if I like it better, if it's easier. Um, but yeah, so for here, I just kept doing this all throughout my head and then just roll upwards, keeping your hair nice and tight and making sure that the wires are bent in nice and tight too. I went ahead and time lapsed this section just because it's the same repetitive motion and I don't want to bore you guys. Once I'm finished rolling up all of my hair, I take some more of my Lotta Body Spray and just spray it all over and then some of my Suavecita Grooming Spray as well. Um, not too much, I just, I just took a little mist all over just to give it some extra hold and just to get them nice and damp. I don't get them too wet because then it takes forever to dry, so yeah. And then I got this little hairnet at Sally's. It's like a triangle hairnet. And I just put that on top and tie it nice and tight. Um, these are actually pretty comfortable to sleep in. I used to do pin curls with actual metal clips. And those were not the business. It was really annoying to sleep with. So these are much more comfortable. So 
So once I tie up the net, I also put a silk scarf on top. Um, both are not really necessary, but I feel like it protects my hair and it just keeps them nice and like in place throughout the night while I sleep. So yeah, I like to do both, but you don't have to. And once I'm done with that, I go to bed. All right, good morning. I'm just kidding, it is about four o'clock now. Um, so I've had these rollers in all day, so they are definitely ready. Um, I ran errands, I went for a walk, I cleaned, I got some stuff done. Um, and yeah, so they're, they're definitely ready. You don't have to do all that. You can definitely just leave them overnight and they'll be ready to go too. But hey, I mean, the longer the better, I guess, right? <laughs> I don't know, but anyways, um, my hair is ready to be taken down, and this moment is always like nerve-wracking but exciting for me because it's always different. So, I'm, like, excited to see how they're gonna turn out. And again, keep in mind this is my fourth time doing this hairstyle, so I'm still learning different techniques. Um, I'll definitely film another video in the future once I get it down better, you know. But hey, I'm excited, so. Let's see what they look like. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so I'm gonna start from the bottom and then just work my way up. That's the way I've found it's been easiest for me. So here we go. I just slowly unwind downwards. And then I flip it towards my face, like that. Oh, it's looking good already. <laughs> it's all tiny. So I can already feel the difference from last set. Last set I used way too much of the Lotta Body spray and they just feel super crunchy this time they feel a lot softer so that's definitely improvement if you have other setting recommendations as far as like products to use please let me know i'd love to try other things out i just kept seeing a lot of body in a couple of the tutorials and like tiktoks that i watched so i figured i'd go with that one so obviously that grooming spray is also really good and I like it because it smells good too. But I feel like that Lotta Body gives me a really good hold. So I'm just going to go ahead and time lapse this portion because it's going to be a while. Same repetitive motion so stick with me. We're almost there. <laughs> Okay, so this is an example of a curl that is not my favorite. It's a little frayed at the end. And I know you can just like let it be and it'll eventually mix in with the hairstyle, but it just doesn't fly with me. So what I do is I heat up my little three quarter, three quarters in, three quarter inch um, curling iron and I'm just gonna run it through the ends just so they're not like freaking all crusty looking like this. I'm gonna wrap the curl around like a normal, like I would normally do it. Well, actually, sorry, I didn't show this part, but first I will brush it through just to get it smooth as possible. <laughs> And then, yeah, this is, this happens quite often to me. So if you have any tips on how to fix that, please let me know. I'd love some help on this. Um, I found that like not putting the ends of the hair like completely tucked 
helps because a lot of them are looking a lot better than last time because last time almost all of them were looking like this and I was not happy um, but this time they're a lot better thankfully this is the first one so far but we're barely like a quarter in a quarter of the ways in so hopefully this is only one of the few that turn out like this so yeah just run it through the curling iron a bit and there it's nice and smooth and it looks cute again so keep your curling iron on beside you just in case it's a lot longer whatever okay All right, now of course at first it looks crazy. <laughs> it looked like Shirley Temple over here. But now is when the fun is gonna begin. I'm gonna just basically just start brushing it out. This time, this part is very um, tedious. This is probably the more, the most like important part of the hairstyle because it's like sculpting the hair, sculpting it all together, forming the waves, and you wanna make sure you're brushing in one direction um i like using my paddle brush to just but you, i like starting like at the bottom slowly and then working my way up because it does get a little tangled um and yeah you just gotta be patient and trust the process because it's gonna look amazing after <laughs> so stay with me actually i'm gonna kind of start from the top <laughs> Be really gentle so you're not pulling your hair out but just slowly work each work the brush through each section and you'll get there but yeah don't be too rough on your hair because you don't want to damage it Look how cute it looks already though. <laughs> so yeah, first you're gonna look like a poodle. And then once we start running the pomade and sculpting the, the waves, you'll you'll see you'll see the vision. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna take my curling and so run it through the top to just kind of smoothen up the creases. So I like to tease the front piece. Before I go on with pomade, I'm gonna put a little bit of serum just to kind of soften up the ends, because they're really dry. So just to kind of add some hydration back into my ends, to be honest. I don't really know if this is the proper way to do it, but I like to do it because my ends feel a little, a little crunchy. And this is a step that's gonna really just tie it all together and make it become the hairstyle of your dreams. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take my Suavecita pomade. I love this stuff. I have been using it for years now. And it is my favorite. I will forever have this in my kit. So I'll take a little bit of that. Put it all on my hands. And then just start running it through. And this is this stuff is like glue. Like it's gonna really form the curls now, and just really seal the deal, pretty much.
Just put some duckbill clips. I'm gonna take my saucy the spray and just put some on top to smooth down. And it kind of lays on flyaways too because it wets them and keeps them down. Put some on the ends. Just gonna go ahead and put some homemade on my little baby hairs to finish up the hairstyle. Cleans up the look. A little mascara on and just run it through. All right, and my hairstyle is finally finished. I am not gonna lie to you, this hairstyle is time consuming. It does take patience and practice and I am still learning, <laughs> um, but I love it. Like it is just giving me the pinup hair that I've been wanting all of my life. Um, and I'm excited because it's only gonna get better as I practice and learn more tricks and techniques. Um, also, the other thing that I really like about this hairstyle is that it lasts for days. Like, I know it's gonna sound a little gross, but um, I only washed my hair like once last week, um, especially because now I have red hair and in order to maintain it, I, yeah, I only wash it once a week and I use dry shampoo in between and it lasted a week. Like, obviously it wasn't as, you know, bouncy and beautiful but the curl lasted a week so i was able to like work with it and not have to use heat on my hair as much so i am loving it <laughs> so i hope you loved it too and i hope it works for you if you try it out let me know i want to know how it worked for you um and again give me any recommendations of like different setting um products or techniques that you may have that work for you i'm open to all of that um and yeah make sure to let me know what you thought down below give this video a like for me and make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye